widows and abused mothers finally receive support. Local companies in Pogera protest termination of contracts. And Eastern Highlands Fire Chief speaks out on poor fire service. This is National MTV News with Tokana Hasavi. Good evening and welcome. This is Sunday's News. Thanks for your company. The Mobaya and Lumusa women in the Western Highlands province have reason to smile when the wife of Prime Minister Linda Babao and newly appointed Community Development Minister Delilah Gore visited the electorate on Friday. The visit was to help in the newly formed women's group, Mobalu Women of Hope Federation. It was formed by widows, mothers with health problems and abused and accused as sex workers. There is hope after all for mothers who have been neglected for a long time. Adds up as they march in rehearsal to welcome the Prime Minister's wife, Linda Babao, Community Development Minister, Dila Lagore, and local MP, Koi Trape. A first of its kind to see a woman with honour and the Prime Minister's wife to set foot in the area which put smiles on all faces. Minister Gore applauded the initiative the women of Mul, Baya and Lumusa took to form the association that will look into the needs of mothers who have been rejected in the community. You have taken away a big stepping stone. You have sold a good example to other women in this country. Prime Minister's wife Linda Babao stoked to see the struggles put on by the women every day. Free education and in one flower road, the strong emol picking in Mary. No can marry her up. Kiss him education pastime. These mothers are special. They've acted out the role of father and a mother to fend for their children. This mother is a true definition of women power. She's a widow for almost 12 years now. She's doing grade 9 both with their firstborn daughter. Her testimony put tears on Prime Minister's wife, Dila Lagore, and the local MP, and many mothers who went through such situation. The women commended a free education policy by the Onil Dion government. The Federation is under the leadership of Alice Melpa, Kathy Kundi, and young vibrant Elizabeth Lolo Bradshaw. You must work hard. So, hard work, blow this letter, blow Mary, consent, blow all, vision, blow all, thinking, blow all. One time, you blow mama, you blow work, blow in, you blow bring him come, that man come close to now. The need for development is not only building skyscrapers, it's not only making four lanes, but it's about going to the rural areas. It's about reaching, reaching right through those neglected areas. It's about touching Papua New Guinea's lives. Tere Alex, National MTV News. Stay tuned. You're watching National MTV News tonight. We'll bring you more local stories coming up next. Welcome back to National MTV News. For the past 11 months, Lay's MTV Bureau has been following a series of 13 reported fires that, is well, that has happened in Ley and around four in Mount Hagen. The two fire stations in Ley City and Mount Hagen City face similar problems, the lack of equipment and underfunding, but it's a problem faced in other towns as well. Today, Garoka Fire Station Commander Ford Nenaya spoke out about problems they face in the Eastern Highlands Province. MTV's Bethany Harriman with this report from Garoka. When fires gutted a whole block of buildings in the center of Goroka town about four months ago, much of the blame was leveled on the Goroka Fire Service. But today, Goroka Fire Station Commander Ford Nenaya explained that firefighters struggle to fight fires without the proper safety gear and equipment. But just because of all this and logistics, and you know I'm making work so public he can, he can criticize you. Goroka is a growing town. In the next 20 years, it may become another highland city. Its internal revenue is growing this year, 20 million kina. Firefighters fear the trend of fires in Ley and Mount Hagen may happen in the city if proper planning isn't done to improve the service. 
Lei experienced a spate of 13 reported fires where a teenage boy died and Mount Hagen around four fires this year. But the talk on the capabilities of firefighting in Goroka comes after Prime Minister Peter O'Neill visited Lei last week. He says the fire service will be improved. Eastern Highlands Governor Julie Soso has also made commitments to improve the fire service in Goroka. I think we can stop on North Goroka side, so I'm quickly. The town continues to grow with its internal revenue. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Goroka. Over 1,000 people in the township of Pogera held a peaceful protest march of the termination of contracts for a local cleaning company. The march was to hand over a petition to the executive general manager for Barrack New Guinea Limited and the management team. Local companies are claiming no proper consultation was done prior to the termination of contracts. The march began from anywhere to the camp under watchful eyes of police and different security forces. Men, women and children from the special mining lease and lease for mining purposes demonstrated their grievances by painting their bodies and carrying plaques with emphasis on Barrick's explanation of the termination of contracts and business agreements. Local cleaning contractor Total Cleaning and Housing Services Limited Managing Director Bert Tepo expressed disappointment of the approach taken by Barrick Management. He said the company has complied with all requirements and wants Barrick to reinstate the local company. I go here and I remember changing now. You remember I go out end of that. Now I remember that is it. Well, we really no come on. And in extraction, we were asking for a random water upon extraction. We love shed work in decision. We gave you those ideas, my brother. The termination of the local cleaning contractor has left over 162 staffs unemployed. The petition was presented to Barrick's general manager, Greg Walker, who said the petition will be looked into and give a reply on the 10th of November. This is the first time in history. We blame Zaharim no one and Barrick told me blame me blame no one better. Next week, me like Zaharim favorable answer. And my answer, me like kiss him long and me like retain him contract blow me. Contract. The protest ended peacefully after the petition was delivered. Jack LaPower Jr., National MTV News. On a brighter note, in commemorating 41 years of service, Air New Guinea saw the inauguration of its subsidiary company, Link PNG, today. Link PNG was given licenses and certificates to operate as a third level airline in the country. Link PNG also began its maiden flight from Nadzab Airport to Hoskins in West New Britain. MTV's Silva Sagawa has this report from Lei. The introduction of Link PNG into the airline industry in Papua New Guinea signifies a new chapter for Air New Guinea. It also provides a competitive market which opens up access to affordable and reliable air services in the country. Link PNG is a subsidiary of Air New Guinea, the national airline company owned by the government and people of Papua New Guinea. The new air service is to give opportunities to our people to own shares in the hairline industry, in particular, Hair New Guinea and Link PNG. I need dividend from each of you. So every time there's an increase in SOE growing, I get excited because I know that adds to the dividend for the country. Following the liquidation of Lutheran Shipping and the closure of Rabaul Shipping, transport links to the New Guinea Highlands region have been greatly affected. Increase in economic activities in the Highlands region through the LNG project and the agriculture sector, there has been an increase in demand for airline services. Here, New Guinea has taken the initiative to introduce Link PNG to alleviate the increasing demands. This particular service will go to all the rest of Papua New Guinea, which are not being serviced currently. Air New Guinea has been the only state-owned entity that has significantly grown over the last four decades. The introduction of several new aircraft fleets into PNG's new airline industry is one of its many achievements. The inauguration of Link PNG's maiden flight out of late today is also an achievement for Air New Guinea's 41 years in Papua New Guinea.
Sylvester Gawi, National MTV News, Lay. Meet Elizabeth Lolo Bradshaw, the woman who wrote the Mubalu Women of Health Federation's constitution. Though she's an accountant by profession, her commercial law class in university helped her to set up the foundation that has brought help to women of Mulbaya and Lumusa of Western Highlands Province. Also, her passion to help non-government organizations, especially with women, is undeniable. Elizabeth Lolo Bradshaw is a young mother with passion, determination and courage to develop the country. Hails from Gulf Province, she is married to Juwaka and resides in Mount Hagen, Western Islands Province. Her passion of playing leadership role began when she was in grade 3. She was part of the women group in newly formed Juwaka Province, who stood out to bring the much needed services. Juwaka Ecumenical Women's Federation, uh, on that network, we brought in NDB, National Development Bank. At that time, uh, now current Minister, uh, Minister for Trade and Commerce, Honorable Richard Maru, he was the director at that time. And uh, he came and he saw the group and he was excited. She has a big heart for mothers. When opportunity arises, she took it and never looks back. She joined Oil Mean Fuel Services as a project accountant in 2010. She works with like-minded women from Mulbai Lumusa electorate to bring forward the cries of mothers who have been subjected to all forms of discrimination in the society. No man is higher than the other person, regardless of the color, black or white, or whatever color you have. Even if you have a degree or PhD or ACCA, you name it, everyone is equal in this world. Her wide experience in dealing with community affairs and engaging in NGO activities has come into fruition when launching the Mubalu Women of Hope Federation. She wrote the constitution of the federation and registered it with the Investment Promotion Authority. It's partnership, it's accepting the other, who they are, who you are, regardless of where they're from, where you're from, doesn't matter, but it's the teamwork, it's the good understanding. The former Western Islands Rugby League president is on the run, to make the women in this part of the country realize and envision their dreams. Tere Alex, National MTV News. Children by choice and not by chance is the message Mari Soaps is giving to the people. With the recent opening of their outreach center in Arawa, in the autonomous region of Bougainville, this is the message that will be given to the people. However, reaching the people is a challenge for Mari Soaps, one that they are willing to take head on. With four clinics and 12 outreach centers in the country, the opening of the Mari Stops Outreach Center in the autonomous region of Bougainville just shows how much family planning is needed in the country. Country Director of Mari Stops PNG Tom Allen said the mission and vision of the organization is for families to have the choice to have children and to expand the use of family planning in the country. Mari Stops' mission is to allow every individual the fundamental right to have children by choice, not chance. So that means that we want to expand access to family planning. The outreach team in Arawa will go out to all remote villages and communities, starting with central Bougainville, to conduct awareness and provide family planning services to the people. Outreach coordinator Loretta Bella said before family planning services can be conducted, Community-based motivators are identified and meetings with chiefs are carried out to pave way for outreach. We have gone out to communities such as Bairima, Pomawa, um, Tonara um, to establish our what we call our community-based motivators and we've held um, meetings with the chiefs. Community-based motivator in Arawa, Sylvia Bana, said family planning is really needed so women have the choice to have children. We plug up this lab problem where plant the oil and plant Mary or local case bell nothing. Instead, all by business school. Now, instead, all Mary too, he got all plant the beginning. So, and by heart, all look out the mall. Mary stops and we good plan. Mary Stop's offices were told to expect opposition from certain churches on some of the family planning methods, however that has not been the case. Many have come to understand the need for family planning and have willingly agreed for outreach to be conducted in their communities. Judith Kasek, National, MTV News. 
Educating students with Christian principles is a top priority for a private school that has celebrated its 10th anniversary last Friday. Established in 2005, the Institute of Christian Academy in Port Moresby has many great achievements to celebrate. Since the school came into operation, it has grown from strength to strength with many great successes in its short history. It's the first ACE school in PNG to attend International Students Convention in USA. Founder and principal Tobias Nangunduo said some of their students were accepted for studies in New Zealand, Australia and USA. We were declared the largest AC school in the world. I see students studying overseas in New Zealand, uh, Australia, in USA. Uh, two of our students just left for USA in September this year. Last Friday, the school celebrated its 10th anniversary. Former students now studying in respective universities around the country said the testimonies and experiences. Mr. Nangunduo said the school educates students with Christian principles and aims to produce God-fearing leaders that will contribute meaningfully to the development of PNG. I wanted to start a school that will produce young, vibrant leaders who will fear God and serve Him with sincerity of heart. Gospel band The Josephs led the entertainment complemented by students' music choir. Quinten Alom, National MTV News. The South Anglip District, South Anglip District is on the route to engage a small, to, small to medium enterprises and develop a saving culture. This comes after a decision from its Joint District Planning and Budget Committee to acquire a loan through the National Development Bank under its credit scheme facility. A ceremony was held in the district recently to signify the occasion. Hundreds gathered at Anglin to witness the ceremony. The initiative saw the first batch of 873 recipients receive 1,000 kina each. A sum of 1 million was deposited to the National Development Bank as security by the office of local MP Joe Coim under DSIP funds. Speaking at Anglim, NDB's credit scheme manager Daniel Wawembe says the scheme is based at Council Wards and Village to develop a saving culture. You man, look, please. Member is working possible, district is making possible, lo you, lo you got bank account. Now you, you now you come a businessman, a business Mary. Start of one thousand million. Now you grow in two thousand. Come back next in ten thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand. You can make it. BSP has also come on board to open passbook accounts for the recipients. Local MP Joe Coim told his people the scheme is to engage them in SME. He also announced that if the scheme is utilized properly, chances of increasing security deposits are high. Even corrupt money and ship money, they must carry good luck like guy. It's said of this left family. So take him this opportunity. I'm going an opportunity. Go to an opportunity. You grab him one them two plan, talk plan, white man talk opportunity come and come once. Me look him country blow you me by chains. Let's blow you me by chains. Time it like a plenty good plan leader long reach in a good plan leader of country. Beautiful property it will change forever. NDB is also rolling out similar credit schemes to other twenty districts in the country. Jack Power Junior National MTV News. And that's a take on our news segment tonight. We'll bring you all the sporting news coming up after the break. Stay tuned. Two Kai Sports. BSP PNG Games 2014. 13 days to go. Support your province. Motor Vehicle Insurance Limited have come on board to support provincial teams taking part in the 6th BSP PNG Games with 100,000 Kina. Strengthening their social responsibility program, MVIL has taken the initiative to support homegrown talent as well as use the opportunity to educate athletes and their communities on road safety. 
NVIL helps to create a partnership with accident-prone provinces and their provincial sporting teams to carry out awareness programs on road safety. Motor Vehicle Insurance Limited has jumped on the bandwagon to support the 6th BSP PNG Games to be held in Leh next month. With the cost of sending large contingents to participate in the Games, MVIL has committed 100,000 kina to subsidize the cost of all provincial teams that have registered to participate in the Games. We will be providing subsidy or support to the transport cost of the movement of the participants moving from their provinces into Morobe. So what's going to happen is the provinces responsible for coordinating the sports will have to tell me which forms of transport they are taking to move into Lay to participate in the PNC Games. So that their portion of the support will be paid direct to any Guinea airlines or ship, whatever companies they are traveling into Lay. Road safety is a major concern around the country and MVIL have taken the initiative to drive their awareness programs targeting all groups of individuals. As part of their social and community responsibility program, MVIL have backed the PNG Mosquitoes in the 2014 International Cup campaign and hope that by sponsoring the 6th BSP PNG Games will enhance their profile as well as their support for homegrown talent and sports ambassadors. It's a national game of national significance that we promote our PNG talents, raw talents, to identify talents for representation at the PNG Games and other international uh, competition. And MEIL is a company owned by the government of PNG. We have a social responsibility as well as contribution to sports development and all other areas of development we feel that is uh, appropriate for MEIL to support. MVIL will be embarking on carrying out further awareness programs in partnership with provincial sports teams in accident-prone provinces such as NCD, Central, Leh, Eastern Highlands and Western Highlands. Scholar Sangi, National, MTV Sports. And our True Guys Sports segment ends on that note. The weather details coming up next. Stay with us. True Kai Sports. True Kai Sports. This weather information is proudly brought to you by Tablebirds. The weather forecast for the next 24 hours in southern region, all centers mostly fine. In Momase, all centers mostly fine as well. New Guinea Islands, all centers fine weather. And lastly, in the islands region, all centers cloudy but fine tomorrow. And that ends the news this Sunday. From the news team, I'm Tokana Hasavi. Thanks for your company. You take care and stay safe. Good night.